Well, the first trip I went away, which was to Tel Aviv, I was very, very young, but it was completely different. In those days, you were only allowed to push 50 metres in a wheelchair because it was seen to be bad for your health to go any further. Back when I was competing, it was more rehabilitation. It was pay your own way in those days, and it was more of a social scene. Today, it's the, the real McCoy. You know, we started, it was, it was you know, the mad, good old mad butcher doing a barbecue, sausage sizzle outside his place. I mean, hell of a lot of fun. Raised a couple of hundred bucks. You know, now we're talking budgets of $100,000, $150,000. My biggest goal is for next year to get to the Beijing Paralympics and hopefully get into a final. I want to go to the 2008 Beijing Olympics and that. And try and make finals and maybe medal. One, go! Go! Paralympic athletes they can't expect to be a Paralympic champion by doing you know, six to seven hours a week. It's not like that anymore. Our athletes are full-time job. It's a serious game now, and New Zealand public money has been invested into the sport. Up. And we've got some targets that we need to meet. The work that they're expected to do is just huge. And that's why we say, look, you know, don't think of them as athletes with a disability, they're athletes. Because compare their training programs with any of the country's elite athletes, it's no difference. Well, they're away well. Pasco perhaps the quickest off the blocks. I finally did it, I finally got a medal, I'm finally on the podium after 10 years of trying.